Hola amores, como están mi gente bella? How's everyone doing? I am back with another video. And um, today's video was supposed to be a cut crease slash hooded eye tutorial, but it ended up not quite being a cut crease because I forgot I was supposed to be cutting the crease. But anyway, it's still um, a suitable tutorial for anyone out there that has hooded eyes, or even if you don't have hooded eyes, if you just like the look. Um, so if you like this, Definitely keep on watching, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and join the Viva Bella by Xena family. Alright, so for my eyebrows, I will be starting with my NYX brow pencil, as I usually do, in the color Brunette. I'm just going to start um, filling them in, drawing the line on the bottom first. And then lining them on top. And then just filling them in. Taking my Artistry Exact Fit Concealer, per usual, in the color medium, and I will be uh, using this to sculpt the bottom of my eyebrows, and also I'm going to use it all over my eyelids to um, serve as a primer. So I'm first going to kind of roughly line the bottom of my brows, put it all over my eyelids. Now I'm going to take um, my usual flat concealer brush to really just kind of um, carve out the bottom of my brows. Today's eyes, I will be using this Miracle Palette by Glam Light Cosmetics. If you haven't heard of Glam Light Cosmetics, they are a Latina-owned brand and the owner happens to be Dominican, so of course I was excited about that. This is what the palette looks like. Very pretty, got a mix of some mattes and some um, shimmers there. If you want to see swatches, I did um, post a few pictures and a video with the swatches on my Instagram page, so you can um, go and check that out. If you have very hooded eyes like me, or just hooded eyes at all, the like best trick I have learned and which has made all the difference in my eyeshadow application is to not apply crease colors in the actual crease but to place them slightly above the crease so you're kind of creating a new crease that's higher up on your eye so that when you're done with your makeup and you look straight ahead your hood isn't covering everything that you did on your lid because you technically made your lid bigger than what it actually is so um to start i'm going to first go in with this color up here called superwoman and I'm taking this um, eye crease brush from e.l.f. E.l.f. What did I say? So um, I'm going to use that color. And I'm going to put it, let me get a little closer. I'm going to put it only halfway across on both sides. And then I'm going to use a darker color on the second half. So this is um, what it looks like so far. So now I'm going to go in with this dark color right here called Fearless. And I'm now going to put this color on the outer half of my crease. And I'm, and I'm kind of um, wigging it out a bit. Now, for the lid. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this color Angelic on the inner corner here. So basically on the first third of my lid. Let's see how this applies with the finger. Oh yeah, that makes a difference. So these, um, these metallic shadows, they're kind of like those textured shadows. So it does seem to apply a, be a little better when using your finger. And, 
Hey, my daughters are here. So second, I'm gonna go in with this color Amor. Um, excuse me. Can y'all be quiet, please? Again, I'm gonna go in with my finger. That's how it looks on my finger. And now I'm gonna put this on the center of my eyelids or on the um the second, third, ooh, second, third. And now I'm going to be going in with this color right here called Beautylicious and put that on the outer third of my eyelids. And again, using my finger. So that's what it looks like on my finger. To blend out the crease colors, I'm going to use this color down here called Rosa. And I'm going to use this um, Coastal Scents brush. I forget what it's called. I've had it for a while. So I'm going to um, just place this on top of the color just to kind of smooth out the edges a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a wipe to just clean off um, both sides here to make that line sharp and clean. So you know what? This butterfly color right here, this one, I feel like I need to use it somewhere. I think I'm going to put a little bit of that color on top of this Fearless. I just put there. Yeah, let me do that. See how that looks. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Okay. Okay, it's not bad. I think it looks good so far okay so I want to definitely put some color on the bottom of my eyes this is a BH cosmetics brush so it looks like focus okay. so I think I'm going to use that butterfly color first put that here And with the color Fearless again, and put that on the second half under my eyes. Should I put black liner? I know black liner makes your eyes look smaller, but I kind of feel like I want to. So, I'm going to take this. Jordana Cosmetics Easy Liner for Eyes. You can find this at Walgreens. They're like two or three dollars. You can have them all for the affordable makeup. Let's put that there on my waterline. So I think I'm going to go in with the color Angelic again and put that in my tear duct to brighten that corner up a little more. Eyeliner, my favorite eyeliner, or one of them, my Wet n Wild Mega Liner, never fails me. So, applying eyeliner on hooded eyes. This is probably the most tricky thing when it comes to having hooded eyes, is correctly applying eyeliner. 
So as I've stated in another video, I love thick, like winged liners, but sometimes when I do that, it like overpowers my eye and you can't actually see what I put on my lid because when your eyes are hooded, it looks fine. Like if you're looking at it from this angle or have your eyes closed, but then as soon as you open your eyes, like most of what you did on your lid is not really visible. So if you make a really thick liner, then it's gonna take up most of what you did. So I think the best thing if you have hooded eyes, but like, like a winged liner, is just keep it thin, like all the way, say it's maybe here. And then in that last, let's say fourth, um, yeah, three quarters into your like line here, then you can start to wing it out. Now for me, it's a little tricky because this eye in particular is like more hooded than this one. So I have to be mindful of where I actually start to wing it out. And now I don't know if you can tell, but my crease ends like right here. So after that point, I can kind of start to wing it out and it shouldn't give me too much of a problem. So, and I, so I usually start like in the halfway point, I don't know why, it's just what I do. So I'm gonna start with um, here. Keeping it kind of thin still. Okay, do the, um, the first half. So I, I would recommend starting out kind of thin. And then if you, of course, if you want to make the line, the overall line thicker, you can definitely go back and do that. Okay, so now the wing part. So let's kind of draw it out first, like the perimeter of the wing. So I'm just gonna follow on um, this line here where I like cleaned up the side of my eyes. So just follow that same line. Determine how far up you want your wing. So I'm gonna make mine, let's just take it all the way up to where this dark color is in my crease. Or at least to where it starts. Now, I'm going to look at where my fold ends, which is this point right here. You can see where I did that. And now from there, I'm going to connect it to the end of this line. So kind of like a little triangle. So you can see that. Okay, and then now from that same point, I'm going to bring it downward and into the line here. And then now I can um, fill it in. So that's what it looks like. So as you can see, it's not overpowering, but I still got a little nice swing going on. And of course you can make it thicker. Um, it's all to your liking. Now the liner isn't applying like totally, totally smooth, but I think that's because of the texture of the eyeshadows. But it still looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. Now for mascara, I'm going to be using my Artistry Signature Eyes Volume Mascara. And my trusty little friend I got here off of Amazon. So if any of you have any mascara that you would like to recommend, let me know in the comments. Wow. Mm-hmm. You want, you want to say hi to the camera? Hi. Hi. Yeah. This is my big baby, Aaliyah. Okay. And Naya's your little baby. Yes, and Naya's my little baby. And I'm your big baby. Yes, you are. Hey, Leah, you are my baby. Um, can you guys quiet down for a second? I'm Leah, recording. You're my makeup. Whoa. Okay. So, um, to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Bar. Looks like this. We'll take some of that, put that right here. Lighten that up a bit there. So 
Now, onto the face. Now, I will be putting on false lashes, but I always leave those for um, the end. So, I'm going to um, put this Morphe Continuing Setting Mist on my face first. Okay, for foundation. I will be using my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the color 390. So I'm just going to put a couple of dots of that all over my face. So let me tell y'all, it took me the longest time to find my match in this foundation. I don't know why. I literally bought like five. I think this was the fifth one until I finally found my match. And I was going off of the color they had matched my sister in, which was 340. And she's cool tone and 340 is cool tone. Excuse me. So I was like, okay, well, if you're 340, then I must be 350 because that was the next warm tone foundation in line. But nah. They had matched her incorrectly, too light. So therefore, I kept buying colors that were too light. Can you stop, please? Until I finally found my match, which is 390. Okay. So to put my foundation on, I'll be using this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro buffing brush. I think that's what it's called. Now I am a brush girl when it comes to foundation. I may go back in and just kind of um, blend it with a beauty blender after. But as far as actually applying it all over my face, I do prefer to use a brush. Okay, so I'm taking my Artistry Concealer again. So I'm going to use this to um, highlight my face. So I'm doing a few streaks right here. A few streaks on this side. Down the ridge of my nose. Forehead. Keep his bow. Chin. To blend this out, I'll be using this Morphe sponge. Morphe sponge isn't as isn't as soft as my Walmart sponge, but yeah, it'll do. I will be contouring, but I'm just going to contour with just the powder instead of doing the you know the concealer and all that. And setting with the powder, I'm just going to do powder. So I'll get back to that in a second. But to set my highlights, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I'm using this middle yellow shade right there. And I'm using this e.l.f. This is actually a highlighting brush, but I like to use it for my, well, this type of highlight, not like the shiny highlight. So just put that under my eyes. And you guys, I'm trying to think about maybe using, um, Loose powder to highlight as well because I always use pressed ones because I always find them easier. Excuse me. So, again, if you guys want to recommend any, let me know. Contour again using the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder contour kit, and I will kind of be alternating between those two colors there. So I'm just gonna lightly put that there. Um, for the rest of my face, using my Artistry powder foundation, the color Cappuccino, and using that same brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, I cleaned it off. 
I'm just gonna use that. Mm -hmm. Blush, I'm using the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I'm using this pink color here called Sola. Love this color. To highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dream Glow Kit. And I'm going to use the color Unicorn. And if my palette looks kind of jacked up, it's because my youngest daughter decided she was just going to take a brush and ram it into the pans. So I had to salvage it by using some alcohol and like pressing them back into the pans. So they just, it's a hot mess. But anyways, I'm going to take that color Unicorn. And put that on my cheeks. I don't even know if it goes with this blush color, but oh well. I think it's okay. Yeah. Makeup and what looks good is all subjective. Really. If you like to be a little extra, then be a little extra. I, I like to be a little extra sometimes. Yeah, might as well just keep pink theme going, you know what I mean? There you go. Okay, lip time. So, I feel like anyone that does bold eyes, they usually go for like a more nude or subtle lip color. But you guys, I just... It's just so hard for me to grab a nude color when it comes to my lips. Even if I'm doing a super bold color on my eyes, it's like I just, I want to grab a bold lip color as well. Like I, it is so hard for me to stray away from reds and magentas and pinks and purples because I just love those type of colors. But I think for today, I'm going to try this color right here. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu Liquid Lipstick in the color Rebel Rose. So... I mean, it's kind of nude, right? Kind of, maybe? So, let's just, let's just put it on and see what it looks like. Okay, so not bad, kind of giving me like black Barbie vibes, but I feel like I should line this with something. Probably should have lined it. So yeah, let me, let me go ahead and do that. See this one? This is a Jordana Cosmetics lip pencil in the color Plush Plum. Let's see what this will go with this color. Okay, maybe. Okay, I think that's a little better, right? A little better? I guess. I feel like I want to throw a gloss on top of this. I'm going to take this um, Artistry Light Up Lip Gloss in the color Pink Sugar. And I'm going to put that on top of my lips.
Okay, so I think I salvaged the lips. I did a little liner, a little gloss, and I think it's I think it's okay. What y'all think? Again, when it comes to light lip colors, I'm like, I'm mean, even though this isn't super light, but it'll do. All right, so last step, lashes. I will be using my Ardell lashes that I usually use, and I'll be using this um, Lash Couture Strip Lash Adhesive. So I'll be right back. And here's the finished look, guys. I think it turned out pretty well. Clearly it's got a whole pink mauve feel going on. Um, something else I forgot to mention for Look, hooded I'm, eyes. She's grabbing her tablet. Yes, she is. Um, for hooded eyes, when you're selecting your lashes, you want to select lashes that aren't too overpowering, so not too thick or too long, because it'll take over your whole eye. I do like my lashes to be a little more on the dramatic side, but I think these are dull lashes are, these are the wispies. They're quite nice. So there you go. If you haven't checked out Glam Light Cosmetics, um, you can definitely check out their Instagram page. I'm all for, you know, trying out different indie brands and especially for trying any Latina or black owned businesses. I'm all for supporting them, which is why I also use a lot of Juvia's Place as well. So, um, hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.